Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the world's fastest heat conducting material. And then I'm going to cut it open and show you what's inside of it and how it actually conducts heat so fast. So first let me show you how fast this thing actually conducts heat. It's pretty amazing. It's almost instantaneous. I have two rods here. One of these is just a regular copper rod. Now copper has a very high thermal conductivity. It's one of the fastest conducting metals there is. And because electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity are related to each other, that's why you see a lot of wires made out of copper because it can also transfer electricity easily. So I'll compare this copper rod to this heat pipe here and show you how much faster this heat pipe actually conducts heat compared to this copper rod. Okay, so now we're going to try to actually see this heat transfer. So I'll put my copper pipe right here and then I'll put my heat pipe on the other side here. So when this stuff gets cold, it turns black. So we should be able to easily see the heat transfer from the pipe to the ice when I stick ice on both the copper pipe and the heat pipe. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set ice on the heat pipe and the copper pipe and we're going to see how fast the heat gets transferred from the pipe to the ice. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa, it just instantly turned it black here. And now you can see it slowly moving up the copper pipe. <laughs> that is awesome. You can see how long it takes to move up the copper pipe. All right. Okay, we've heated both of them up now. Let's set our ice on. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Look how fast this one turned black. The heat pipe was almost instant. And then the copper pipe, you can see the heat slowly coming out of it. So what's really neat with this is by just using the heat in your hand, you can actually cut through ice like it's a razor blade. Look at that. So in doing that, it instantly gets cold in my hand. So I have to try to transfer the heat back into it as it cuts through the ice. But it's so cool how it instantly just cuts into the ice when I touch it to it. So this is just using my own body heat to cut through this. This isn't heated at all. Look at that. So let's cut this open and see why this can transfer heat so much faster than a regular copper rod. This can actually transfer heat around two orders of magnitude faster than a copper rod. So copper can transfer heat at around 0.4 kilowatts per meter Kelvin, and this heat pipe can transfer at 100 kilowatts per meter Kelvin. So what's a little bit scary about this is, as I'm cutting it, it's gonna generate heat, but it conducts heat so fast that it'll probably burn me, so I'm gonna wear some gloves while I hold this. Okay, so inside of here, it just looks like a hollow copper pipe. But let's look closer and see what we can see in here. Okay, so I've split open the end and bent it down here. So you can see the inside of it, 
It's not just like a smooth copper pipe inside of it, but it's actually really spongy. So the sides of the wall here are almost like it's a sponge. And the reason that that's in there, because inside of this, there is actually a little bit of water. And usually what they'll do is they'll get a regular copper pipe and they'll fill it with a little bit of water and then they'll let that water boil and then they'll seal off both ends of the pipe. So, so that all that's left in there once it's sealed off and cools down is a tiny little bit of pure water in a vacuum. And so there's a really low pressure in there because the water that was hot vapor condenses down once it cools down, but the ends are sealed. And so basically you just get a drop in pressure and a tiny little bit of condensed water. And the spongy inside of the pipe is so that the water can get wicked up onto the sides of all of the pipes. So then how this heat pipe actually works is it's made of copper and so you still get the copper conduction itself but the magic comes from the water vapor inside of it. So the tube starts off at a very low pressure, but as you heat up one end of it, the water that is at that end of the pipe heats up. And when it heats up, it vaporizes. And as it vaporizes, the pressure increases. And if the other end is colder, then that means that there's a pressure force driving that water vapor to the other side. So at high pressure over here, low pressure over here, and so all of that water vapor gets pushed to that side. But now the other side is colder, and so the water vapor now condenses. And so basically you get this fast push of water vapor to the other side and then it condenses. And so it takes heat from this side and quickly pushes it to the other side. And so that quick heat transfer comes from the heat it takes to vaporize the water and then it puts that heat back on the other side when that water condenses. And so it's this continually efficient heat pump that continually takes heat from one end of the pipe and pushes it to the other side of the pipe. And you can actually use different types of liquids and different kinds of metals for this, but this copper water combination actually works extremely well. These are used in a lot of applications, including inside of computers. When you need to transfer a lot of heat quickly, these heat pipes are unmatchable with any other standard metal. And I'd like to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant's daily challenges helps make learning a daily habit. Every day they publish several challenges that provide a quick and exciting view into math, logic, science, engineering, and computer science. Each of these daily challenges provides you with the context and framework that you need to tackle it, so that you learn the concepts by applying them. And then, if you like the challenge and want to learn more, there's a course quiz associated with each challenge that explores the same concepts in greater detail. If you like my channel and like the stuff you learned on it, then head over to Brilliant to sign up for free. But if you'd like to sign up for their premium subscription, then click the link in my description for 20% off of their premium subscription. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so that you can be notified when my latest video is out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription box. And I'll put a link in my description as well so you can see the Action Lab experiment book. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.